I've seen clients get $30,000 on average between these five banks, which most people don't talk about. This is new, brand new, and seasoned businesses, and they require no proof of income. Now, these are business credit cards, which are much easier to get than loans. And since they're credit cards, that means you get unlimited access to that funding. Not to mention, you don't even have to pay anything until you actually use them for your business. And in a world full of high interest rates, you can actually get access to 0% funding. So let's go ahead and talk about the first one. So that first one is going to be Wells Fargo, and they haven't had a business credit card for a while, but they just recently came out with this new card. And it's actually really good. Now, if you want the details on any of these cards that I mentioned, I went into full detail on all of these cards on different videos in my channel. So go and check those out. But some of the highlights of this card is going to be that there's no annual fee. You get 0% APR for 12 months on this credit card. And you get a unlimited 2% cash rewards on purchases made for your business with no categories to track which is extremely competitive compared to some of the other offers at these other banks. Okay, so the next card we're gonna talk about is the GM Rewards card. Now, one of the major benefits of this card is that it does a soft pull, so it won't hurt your credit score or leave an inquiry from you applying for this card. Most people I've seen get approved for at least 40,000 on this card, so it's pretty generous. You get 0% APR for the first 12 months on this card. If you do use this card for, you know, car purchases or things related to that, you get 5% in certain category with that. 3% on gas stations, restaurants, office supplies, and 1% on all other purchases. So that makes this another really great option. The next thing we gotta talk about is Truist. Now they may or may not be in your area, so you would just check to see if they are in your area. But we're gonna talk about their business cash rewards card. Now this one, another one with no annual fee, you get a 0% APR for nine months with this one, not 12, but nine is still good. And you get 3% cash back on gas. 2% at restaurants, office supply stores, and they do limit you up to $2,000 a month between that 2 and 3% category, but it's still something. And you do get a 1% cash back on all eligible purchases outside of that. So overall, this is still a really decent car. Again, just see if Chewis is in your area and they can be pretty generous with their limits as well. Now, a few things that you do want to consider before applying for these cards is going to be what bureaus do they actually check to try to get the approval? Because based on what bureau they check, you can take a look at your credit reports on those bureaus and see how your score and your credit report stacks up and see if it's in a good place to apply. Some of these banks can be more, you know, cautious than others in regards to inquiries and what's on your credit report. You ideally don't want to have more than three inquiries within the last, you know, six to 12 months to make sure you're in a safe place. And score wise, you definitely want to be anywhere between, you know, 720 to 750. Something like that is going to make sure you're in a safer place. Not only does that help secure your approval, it also helps to secure more money for you because your credit is in a better place. And if your credit isn't that high, don't worry. I got some information for you, so stick around. And yes, you are using your personal credit to apply for these cards. Now, a lot of people want to run around and try to get the no PG options, but I'm going to tell you that this is a lot faster than building up your business credit to try to avoid doing a personal guarantee. You can basically skip the line on how long it's going to take you to get funding for your business or to be able to make a major purchase that you might need to make to make some things happen for your business or before you miss out on a great investment for your business. So speed is definitely important and getting access to capital is going to be where that speed is going to really come in handy for you and your business. So I would tell you don't worry about the personal guarantees right now. If your credit is in a good place, go ahead and jump on these opportunities because they can help you get what you need. Now, some other things to consider is, do you already have a relationship with these banks? A lot of these banks nowadays, they don't have the one night stand mindset where you just apply online, get high limits and just go on about your business. They want you to have, you know, some type of relationship like a business bank account with them or maybe a personal credit card with them. These things help show that you have some type of connection or want to be with them for the long haul. And then they are more likely to not only approve you, but to give you higher limits. So take into account if you already have relationships because it would definitely benefit you to do so. And look, if you want help in kind of figuring out, you know, what bureaus these banks check, which ones should you apply for first or last, or what other banks are even out there that you can actually apply for to get funding that aren't on this list or most of the lists that you might see out there. You know, what are the right relationships that you should be building and how to build those relationships with each specific bank? If you want help with all of that, 
then make sure you book a call with me down below. We can do a free funding strategy call to see how we can help get your business funded and you can get the game plan on how to make that happen. So book a call below in the description or go to the link you see on the screen. And also, if you're enjoying this video so far, make sure you hit the thumbs up button so YouTube can know to show this to more people and subscribe to the channel to keep getting good information like this. I know you've been coming back watching the video, so you might as well subscribe so you can get notified the next time I drop something. Okay, so let's go to the next bank and that's gonna be Chase. So Chase has one of the arguably best credit cards out there for businesses. And you know, this card in particular is one of the best ones in their lineup. And it is the Chase Inc. Business Unlimited card. Now with this card, it has no annual fee. It has 0% APR for 12 months. So that's really good. And you get 1.5% cash back on all purchases that you make without having to worry about categories. And again, there are some other benefits to this card, but make sure you go check out the channel to get the full in-depth details on what all this card offers. Now with Chase, I've seen that they can be really, really generous with their limits that they give you. You can get really high amounts from Chase alone. However, applying online usually isn't gonna yield the best results to get you those high, high limits. But again, if you wanna go ahead and apply, of course it's worth a try. And the next bank is gonna be Amex. So I wanna make mention something to you guys because a lot of you guys are always striving to get that platinum card and to get the gold card and i definitely understand why they do have some great benefits and bonuses that come with these cards with the points that you get as well as some other banks but Basically, what you want to remember, especially if you're a new business, is you don't want to rack up a whole bunch of money in spending on a thing you need for your business and then have to pay all that back at the end of the month. So you have to remember that these two cards are actually charge cards. So you will have to pay them off at the end of the month. There is, you know, a little bit of leeway there, but I would definitely not try to jump out the gate for these unless these are the things that you know that you can um, sustainably, you know, take care of in having to pay that off every month with it being a charge card. But I do want to draw your attention to the blue business cards that they have the cash card as well as the plus card now these cards are pretty much the equivalent of each other one builds up points and the other builds up cash rewards so that's really going to be the main difference but we're going to go ahead and take a look at the plus card so that you can actually see what is some of the benefits that you get with this card okay so one of the main things again is going to be no annual fee so you don't have any annual fee at all there's zero percent apr for 12 months so you get interest-free purchases and repayment for that time frame which is really good you also get two times point on all purchases up to fifty thousand dollars so some of you guys won't hit that some of you will and then after that you get one percent points on everything after that now it's important to note that there are two things out there that can greatly affect the success or failure of you getting this business funding or even just your business success and failure in general and that's your personal credit and your business's address so before you go apply for any of these cars at any of these banks make sure you watch one of these next two videos so that you can learn how to either improve your credit so that you don't have to worry about that holding you back or to learn how your business address can affect you in funding and in business in general as well as what to do about both and i'll see you in the next video